Today we'll study how to find the volume of prisms and cylinders. Uh, the formula for volume is volume equals area of the base times the height. That's why there is a capital B in that formula. Now the base of a prism could be any shape. A square, a rectangle, a triangle, a trapezoid, a pentagon. So you'll need to know the formulas for those figures before you actually find the volume of that prism. So let's take a look at a couple of rectangular prisms. First we'll find the volume of cubes. So we write our formula, volume equals area of the base times the height. Now for a cube it's pretty simple because all sides are the same length. So the area of the base, 8 times 8, or 64, and then we have to multiply that by 8. So 64 times 8 equals 512. And our volume then is 512 cubic yards. You're multiplying three dimensions. 8 yards times 8 yards times 8 yards. And that's why our unit of measure for volume is always cubed. And our next cubed, again, formula equals area of the base times the height. And the area of our base is 49. The height is 7. So our volume is 49 times 7, which is 343 centimeters cubed. Okay, and then our last, cu our last cube, again, formula, volume equals area of the base times height of the prism. Our base is 11 times 11, which gives us an area of 121. And then we multiply that by the height. So, we get our volume, whoops, the height is 11, and our volume is 121 times 11, and that's 1,331 inches cubed. Here are two rectangular prisms that are not cubes. And it might be helpful to identify how tall that prism is from top to bottom. So we'll look at the base, and I'll outline it in green. And we can see that it's a rectangle. And we can clearly see its dimensions, 6 feet by 2 feet. Now it'll be easier to find that area and not confuse it with the height of the prism, which is 3 feet. So again, our formula does not change. Area of the base times height of the prism. So our base is a rectangle with dimension 6 by 2, and our height is 3. So our volume is area of the base, which is 12, times height of the prism, which is 3. So here's our volume as 36 cubic feet. In the next prism, again it's a rectangular prism. Here's our base, 5 by 3. And our prism is 9 meters tall. Volume equals area of the base times height of the prism. Our base area is 3 by 5, or 15, and times 9. And 15 times 9 is equal to 135, so 135 meters cubed. Now for triangular prisms, I especially encourage you to identify the base of this figure. And here's our base, and you can draw it in a different position, but it is a right triangle, and fortunately in this example we're given the height and the base. So when we find that formula, 1 half BH, we say 1 half times 7 times 10, or 1 half times 70, which is 35 inches squared. So that's the area 
of our base. Now we're ready to find the volume of the prism. And now we can see that the only dimension left is 11 inches. And that's the height of our prism. So volume equals area of the base times the height. And we just found the area of the base, 35 inches squared. We're going to multiply that by 11. So 35 times 11 is 385 and our unit of measure was inches, so it's inches cubed. Again, identify that base so you don't get it confused with your other dimensions. So in this next triangular prism, here's our base. And remember, the base is on the top or the bottom. It doesn't really matter. But it's whatever that shape of those parallel and congruent figures are. So I'm going to draw it up here. And we have 24 millimeters, 7 millimeters. So we find our base 1 half BH, 1 half 7 times 24, or let's see, 1 half of 24 is 12, and 7 times 12 is 84. So we get 84 millimeters squared and that's the form that's the area of our base now we're going to find the volume of the prism which again area of the base times the height and we can see the dimension that we haven't used and it's the distance between those two bases and that's eight meters excuse me millimeters so volume equals 84 times 8, and let's see what that is, 84 times 8, and that's 672 millimeters cubed. The volume of a cylinder, the formula is the same. Volume equals area of the base times the height. But this time the base is shaped like a circle. So the formula for the area of the circle is pi r squared. So just don't forget that. And you may want to leave pi in your problem until the very end and then hit that pi button on your calculator in order to compute. So let's find the volume of these three cylinders. And remember, the dimension that's in the formula for the circle is the radius, not the diameter. So in all these problems, we're given the radius, but if you're given the diameter, you're going to have to cut that in half to get the radius, to put that in your formula. <clears throat> all right, so we write our formula. Volume equals area of the base times the height. So let's figure that base area. Pi times 8 squared. And I'm going to keep pi in there so we get 64 pi. And then we're going to multiply that times the height of the cylinder, which is 15. So let's see what that is. 64 times 15 times pi. And that's equal to, big number, you need to use a calculator, 3,015, 3,015 0.92. But it asks us to round to the nearest whole number, so we get an approximate answer of 3,016, again, inches cubed. Cubed because it's volume. All right, in our next problem, again, volume equals area of the base times the height. So we have pi times 2 squared or 4 pi, and now notice the cylinder is lying on its side, and here is our height times 16, and 16 times 4 is 64, so we get volume equals 64 pi, and we multiply that by pi, and we get equals 201 0.06, so we're going to round that to the nearest whole number, which is 201 yards cubed. 
And for the last one, volume equals area of the base times height. So we have pi times radius squared, or 144 pi. Multiply that by our height, distance from top to bottom. And what do we get? 144 times 9 times pi. And that's a big number. Volume equals 4,071.5. And rounded to the nearest whole number is 4,072 centimeters cubed. So that's volume of cylinders and prisms. And just be careful. Use your calculator. Watch your, your bases. I don't think it's too difficult for a cylinder, but for the prisms, you need to watch your base and make sure you identify which side of the prism is the base.